What's your name in um, Assassin's Creed? Ezio. The uh, reason why uh, I cast Dylan as the oh, quad. Oh, oh no, look, he doing oh, for God. No, oh, Dylan. Dylan. Dylan, I'll ask Dylan. you. I'll Dylan. ask you more questions, right. man. <laughs> yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, mm -hmm. I'm gonna be biased here and say that this is an episode I very much looked forward to since I found out it was happening. Um, first off, I'm gonna address the elephant in the room. My right eye has a slight sty, that's why it's red right now. No, I didn't have a stroke, um, I'm okay. Uh, Will Neff is here. Can people really notice that on camera? I don't know. I'm self-conscious. I filmed an extremely, <laughs> I filmed an extremely big announcement video yesterday here, yeah. and I was like, man, I'm gonna put this out, and it's gonna be huge news for me, and it, I'm just gonna have this fucking sty in my eye that lasts for three days, and my career's gonna be over. I didn't even know. Yeah, 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 Thanks, guys. Yeah. You you someone paid you to say that. Ready for <laughs> <laughs> it's a hashtag ad right there. My, my lawyers are reaching out. Um, you might be wondering where the hell's date shot. He's uh, out in the world going to the eSports Awards. So I have the other co-host here, Will Neff, who is arguably much more handsome and better. I'll take it. <laughs> and we are joined by a trio of extremely special individuals. Uh, they are part of the, I'm gonna say the RDC World YouTube channel um, as just, it's all encompassing uh, with nearly 5.5 million subscribers. Uh, as every time we have guests on with more subscribers than me, I realize that I suck at what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, as well as over 380,000 followers on Twitch. Uh, we have Mark, Ben, and Dylan Good. here. Ben. Boys, welcome. Thank you. Thank welcome you. to Los Angeles. Thank, thank you. Appreciate it. You know appreciate it. Um, and it's great to have you guys. Uh, it's great to be here. Yeah. You guys, in my opinion, are the funniest people on the internet. Oh, man. Yeah, we try. I'm not there kidding. There are a lot of people on the internet. Too. No, that's, they're that's the funniest. That's a lot. Yeah. Yeah. They're the funniest. Uh, like, w when they upload a video, it's like, you guys are probably like, damn, this video didn't bang as hard when it has f only 50,000 likes on your Twitter. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Is that true? Sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes. Yeah. It's like 70,000. What's wrong with what it? Was the, what was even the point? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We peaked. It's <laughs> over. It's like, yeah, literally. Boom, boom, like, boom, let's get it. Oh my god. No, this is uh, this is super excited to have you guys on because we actually connected. Mark and I connected. Oh, I, I don't even remember how long ago now. Maybe probably. 2019 or something. Yeah, a couple years back. Um, and I just I reached out because I just went on a binge of your guys' videos of everything that you guys had put out. And I don't know how much you've had the chance to watch their content or anything, but you'd love it time because sure. it is so skit based and comedy yeah. based, which is right up which, your alley. And it's really interesting because like, I, it, what's amazing about you know groups like you guys is like the the comedy institutions that that I kind of went through and know like you know Groundlings and SNL and stuff I feel like they really struggle with like the wants and needs of audiences now where you guys are so pithy and mm. quick oh, with yeah. the humor uh and it's it's like a whole different IQ level mm. and you guys mm. just nail it so yeah I, I feel like but. SNL probably doesn't like us just for the fact that you know what I'm saying like well, it takes we make, them like six minutes to get a joke out, right? Exactly. <laughs> that and it takes like, you know, it takes like a few days for them to react to something that just happened when we yep. can just react yep. the next three hours or something. You know what right. I'm saying? But um, did, you said you used to work on SNL? No, I did Groundlings and I did Second City Chicago, which are like the improv theaters that feed into there. Mm. Um, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. That was my dream at one point. I was up for candidacy and mm. then not accepted. So, <laughs> okay, well, so now, <laughs> <laughs> And now you're stuck here on, <laughs> on this so you, like, you really like comedy a lot then. I, I, I love comedy. I, I, it, I mean, who don't though? Yeah, yeah, it's true. I think everybody loves it. And then I think when you work in it, a lot of people learn to hate it. Yeah. <laughs> So like, we'll, we'll, I hate it. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. I think it's amazing too. Is like everyone's like they have that funny friend where like this guy's really funny, and then you have to do it for a living, and it's it's a totally different beast when you have to sit down and be. It's like be funny now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Hey. <laughs> now, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like him. I like him. <laughs> you guys would have loved. So we'll just join Hundred Thieves, and his announcement video. Yeah. It's completely different to anything else we've done, where it was entirely like scripted along by him alongside people at Hundred Thieves. And he's like fighting ninjas, ripping yes. off this other big streamer Hassan's head, yeah. and <laughs> pitching us in a movie. It's this whole skit that you guys would have. Uh, it would be the same exact thing that you guys would do. Spoiler alert: 
We've been having so much fun on the podcast that we forgot to show love to our proud sponsor and Cash App. If you don't use Cash App, then fuck you. That's right. Now, you've heard us talk so much about Cash App in our long Courage and Aid Shot Show history. When I say long, it's long. It's Trust storied. me. Story. Uh, Cash App allows you to own any piece of any stock with just $1. Yes. yes. Investing in stocks makes you money. That's so right. do it. If you're smart and you leave your money in there, Nine times out of ten, you'll make money. Cash App Investing is also free to use and free of fees. So go get started with just one dollar. Yep. I invest in stocks. Will invest in stocks. I do. So should you. Yep. Uh, Cash App is now available for everyone thirteen and older as well. Learn more Cash App Cash dot app slash thirteen plus. So now it's available for uh, for more of you guys out there that are watching. Some of our younger viewers. We know that you send each other the monies to buy those Pokemon cards and those packs of cigarettes. No, yeah. <laughs> we know you guys send each other money, and uh, you might as well do it through Cash App. And finally, if, if you don't have Cash App, guess what? There's a new code. What? There's a new code right now. What does the code get you? You can download it today. And use code Twitch TV for fifteen dollars. So literally, wait, like f fifteen free three dollars dollars. So imagine this. You work a long day's work, and you're like, hey, wow, I want 15 more dollars yep. from my work today. All you have to do is download Cash App and use code Twitch TV. Uh, I don't even stream on Twitch, but it's go use their code. money. Yeah. Uh, thanks so much, Cash App. Let's get back to our podcast now with RDC World. <laughs> Having you guys on today, you guys have had so many moments, but I want to go back to the beginning, because what I love about what you guys do is it seems like you guys have just been boys for forever and now oh, yeah. and now you're here is is that kind of the path that it's been for you guys to get to this point yeah <laughs> you guys can talk yeah, i don't want to say no, I, well, I don't even want him here i kind of looked at you and then you oh, looked yeah, at me yeah, like, no, right. what yeah, are you yeah, yeah. I yeah, yeah i feel like we all went we all grew up in the same city type shit and like we uh we went to high school together but we like we all didn't meet each other. Like, I had to go to high school with you. I went to high school. I went to high school with, <laughs> I went to high school with, uh, high school with uh, Leland. Leland. It's cousin. And, like, we all like. We all I like. High school with. What's up? He didn't see that. Forgot Leland. Hey, my Leland, boss, this, like, hey, Leland, boy, you my boy, but I fought with you. <laughs> <laughs> but like, Sorry, we, we all we all made each other. It's a different way. Like he he's uh, Leland's cousin. Okay. Like, yeah, yeah. And like, I I only met uh, him through Leland because I was at Leland's house all the time. Mm -hmm. And like, I, he just popped up one day. And we like yeah. made each other over. One five. day, many days, I popped up many days. <laughs> I'm saying how I met you, cause yeah, yeah, you yeah, right. yeah. And then you we just right. got we just got cool over like Xbox Live for real. For yeah. How Xbox often will Live. you guys just be joking about something in your friend group, and then it'll become a sketch, or it'll become something you end up making? Yeah, I feel like all the time. Like yeah, that's pretty common. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, I, I actually I do want to really get into that and 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 your workflow for how you guys come up with videos because I think that's what is so good about your guys' ability is just to always hit the most you know the the perfect joke in them. But I am so interested in how it came to be what it is today. So how when when did it, when did you guys all move into this house? Like because you guys all live you guys all live in that house together in Texas. Yeah. 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 So how how did that come about? Was it like we're now making this the center of our YouTube universe. Was YouTube already going, or, or break that down for me? So, uh, wait, y'all want? I want. Uh, I can do it. Uh, so, so pretty much like um, when we all we all went to college, we all like separated. So we're all from Waco, mm -hmm. and then we all kind of like split to go to different colleges in Texas. Mm. And uh, Mark was already doing videos, and whenever we did, whenever we came to Waco, whenever we all come to Waco, we do videos together. Then we'll separate again. But then he started making videos where they started hitting me. Like he got a million videos. Yeah. He got another one. And then he was like, bro, yo, we got some here. Let's take advantage of this. Let's all move to the same city. Let's all move in together and like focus on this full time. And we're just like, let's do it. So that that was like, that was the start of everything else, pretty much. I was like, the rest is history after that, pretty much. Damn. That's where LeBron yeah. happened. That's Mark, what was the was video that far. made you kind of have that light bulb moment where it was like, Okay, we're doing this. I'm calling my friends. Yeah. Uh, well, I feel like well, the one that uh, his name is Affion. Yeah. That's why I started RDC with, and we were like, we were just kind of we trying to make a comic book first, and then like. Uh, okay, know. tell me about the comic yeah, book. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can't just drop so it. actually, that's how RDC started. RDC okay. started like, hey, I'm gonna give y'all some exclusive news. <laughs> I usually tell the story. I usually tell the story on Twitch, but yeah. like, I like, I never told them. Like, there was another member of RDC, really. 
Mm. Like, and his name was Brandon. He was one of my best friends at the time, right? Mm -hmm. And that was REC. It was like, it was six of us, I think. And Brandon was like the sixth member, and we were trying to make a comic book. So in the comic book, we all had different characters, right? Like right. we all like they were all named after Japanese characters because mm -hmm. like, we, was, we were trying to make a manga to be specific. And like my person name was like Takeshi, Brandon's name was like Unicurl, Leland's name was Daisuke. Anyway, I wrote I wrote a comic book, everything. I mean the manga and everything. And, I love um, that he just glosses up. Yeah, I wrote a comic book. <laughs> <laughs> it's the coolest shit ever. And then, uh, and then Affion, he's really talented. The uh, the uh, the co creator of RDC World. He like he draws really well, mm. so he was like drawing. He would be drawing like twenty four seven. I never knew how much, like time it took to make a manga. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. Like it takes a lot of time. Like this this man was drawing every time I walked in the house. You feel me? <laughs> so like, and he started getting like, hey bro, like I don't want to draw. And I was like, bro, do you know what we can do if you just draw? Like you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like I feel like I was kind of acting like. I was kind of being, I'm, I, I was straight up, I was being an asshole, like, mm. bro, yeah. like, come Fix on, bro. the carpal tunnel. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I haven't ate, I haven't ate in three days. <laughs> yeah, no, for real, like, because, like, it'd be like, he draw, like, he draw the, the first people page. want Dice K. <laughs> <laughs> the people did want Dice yeah. K, though. Yeah. That man, he was drawing, like, for hours, and then, like, I would be there, and, like, I'm sitting there, and I'm like, damn, this shit take a long time. Yeah, like, man. it's, like, six hours past, and we're still on, like, one page. And that's when I was like, oh, this shit ain't no, like, it's not a joke. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, it takes a long time. But anyway, we, we finished it after a long time. We finished that first chapter. Yeah. And we sent it off. We sent it off to every manga company we could think of on every manga company we can Google up. And we just sent it straight to their, they even, I mean, the addresses they had. I mean, we were only yeah. 16, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, like, that's crazy. We were just sending it. Like, we, we know that they ain't going to get it and say anything. Mm -hmm. But one of them actually did. One of the biggest ones named Kodansha. They got it, and they responded. They were like, hey, guys, keep going. That's all they said to me. <laughs> and I was like, I swear to God, I said if anybody gets this in their hands, it'll be so good yeah. that they'll, like, immediately yeah. love it. But, like, that's all they was like was keep going. And I was like. Ain't that about a <laughs> like all that just to say keep going? Well, now you have the platform yourself. That is, yes, is it that's really, very is true. It, 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 could this be a release one day as a retroactive release? Yeah, uh, yeah, that's yeah. a soft, that's <laughs> a soft <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's a soft yes. So, it's no, a soft yeah, yes. it's because we we'll, we'll get to that. We'll get okay. to that okay. in a minute. We'll get to that. I like that. Uh, I like that. The beginning of RDC, how it started after that manga, after that comic book, me and Ash started making like. Funny videos. Yep. Like we made uh, one called uh, Home Alone Five. We made hilarious home video. Mm. And um, then I would just like call Leland and them over there and be like, "Hey, bro, y'all want to make a y'all want to make a video with us?" Me and Af, we made lots of other videos that never got posted. But like it was just like funny for us, and we were getting building a lot more chemistry like through the camera and stuff like that. So you know, like I feel like people think this happened overnight, but we were sitting in that we was making videos for a long time before we even got a thousand views, you feel yeah. me? But I felt like, cause you guys asked me what, what was that video, mm -hmm. to me it was the first one, like I felt like it was the one, like I felt like every video should blow up. I felt like every video had a chance to blow up and I can't explain the feeling. Yeah. Like it was like, honestly, I'd be like, drop this video and be like, I feel like this is the one that's gonna blow. Yeah. And then 300 views, mm -hmm. and then it's just it. And I'd mm -hmm. be like, but that's a lot. Like when you yeah. don't have like, yeah, a lot of scrap. Like you know what I'm saying. Like 300 views to me, it meant the world. You know what I'm saying. And one comment or two comments or three comments, like man, y'all the funniest people ever. I'm like, come on, calm down. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've seen one three minute video. It's a like, friend on a burner account. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it could be. And what's weird is I didn't tell my family about the videos. Like I didn't want them to see. Yeah. Cause uh, you know black, you know black, black people that be they on your ass. You say one wrong thing. You <laughs> like it's like they look at this and be like. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, I'm about to <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So like, I was kind of embarrassed to show my family and my friends at high school because I had went to like Waco High and shit, and I felt like Waco High was a, you know what I'm saying? It was a, it was a, it was a school where you ain't gonna, you can't be making mistakes like that. I find that so. I find that actually really interesting to think about because you know I I have a, a pillar moment in my high school time where we were playing Yu-Gi-Oh at lunch like junior year. Everyone's in the big cafeteria, and we're just playing Yu-Gi-Oh. And one of the captains of the high school football team, one of my really good buddies, comes over and he's like, what the hell is this? Like, I, I want to play. And then one of the biggest nerds in our school sees us play. And like, every, you know, it was just it, all he did was play these card games, whatever. He then starts playing Yu-Gi-Oh! with us at lunch. And now we yeah. have the captain of the high school football team, the coolest of cool, you know, at lunch in front of everyone playing against, you know, the biggest nerd in the school. Mm -hmm. Like, And I remember sitting there and I was like, 
we're like breaking every yeah. high yeah. school <laughs> by just doing what we love, which is like playing Yu-Gi-Oh and it hearing that. It was time that. to do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so, and, so and, eat, and eat your frozen pizzas from the cafeteria. <laughs> but I actually, that's so fascinating to hear you mention is like the start, you know, you did you you didn't really want to share what you were making, especially was there worries about it being like a anime that you were into or manga that you were trying to make? Like, were you worried about what people would think about you doing that? Um, not man, not really. Like, I wasn't really scared to be like I like anime. I used to say it like, like I said, like um, in in high school, like I, I hung with all the cool. Like, I feel like everybody really did like anime, but it was just on the low. Yeah, like nobody really wanted to say it out loud. And since like I feel like I didn't. Like, I didn't know anybody else who really watched anime like that. Mm. Like, I had no reason to be just saying it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, I'm not going to just be run Naruto running down the hallways and nothing. So, <laughs> hey, like... You got to get to class fast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Like, like, so I really had no reason to say it, but, like, mm. like I did have a comic book at some point, like, I would be in class, like, like looking at it, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Or looking at what Ab drew and be like, and then looking at the story, I would be like, oh, that's cool. And then they just be like, oh, what? No, like, what is that? You know yeah. what I'm saying? I would, I never got like bullied over it or anything like that. You know what I'm saying? Well, like, well, I think it's 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 actually so key to what you guys do is that throughout what you upload on YouTube, you know, even now with you guys continue to push more into gaming, it's like you just do what I it's it, for, from an outside fan looking in, it's very clear that you guys just do what you want to do, whether it's making videos about basketball, making videos about music, making videos about anime, making videos about gaming. It's just like, hey, that's what's important to us, and it, it really resonates with the fans. So For sure. it's, 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 it's cool to see that no matter what, you guys just stay true to your roots. Yeah. So sure. for people out there who, who've seen your videos, I feel like with how viral you guys go, do you think that there's a lot of people that are like, do you guys get people that are like, you look for me, I feel like I've seen you guys somewhere before, but... I, it was this video that popped up. Does that happen a lot where people recognize you because it's <laughs> like a viral moment, <laughs> yeah. right? That's uh, that's so interesting to yeah. think. Yeah. What's Has there ever been a crazy uh, fan interaction or do you guys remember your first one where you're like, oh shit, this is, this is kind of getting real now when like people start to recognize you? It was a crazy, crazy. experiences. Oh, that, that dude jumped in your arms. Bob. Oh, yeah. yeah. What's this? What he do? Uh, this man jumped bro, in his arm. Niggas be trying to do some too much sometimes. Like, <laughs> like I'd be like, bro, I'm for Waco, bro. Chill out, bro. Like, he, jumped, he jumped in my arms. Full like, body, like. Like, jumped, like. All right, now I could have just let him hit his head. But I ain't know it. Like, you know what I'm he saying? Like, you just had to catch him. Who, jumps, catch him. who yeah. jumps to horizontally, though? Another he jumped like swing man. dance. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. He like jumped like, like he knew I was going to catch him. Like I said, bro, like, I did catch him, but I was like, bro, don't do that again. But like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And like, he was he, like, bro, like. How big was he? He was, he like, was small, but he was like, like skinny. Yeah, yeah. Like he was like, like a little smaller than me. He did it because he knew he was catchable. Yeah, it was a full blown. <laughs> he did because he knew he was catchable. Like, like I'm like, not doing that. Too. I was not saying that. Somebody like Courage, I ain't saying. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I ain't saying. I'm saying. Oh I'm my saying, god! Like, you, you just not that strong. Yeah, oh, I, I mean, I'm not strong, but come on, Courage. Like, no, like I said, Jesus, I'm, no, 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 no. no I'm, you know, he's bigger than I'm not me, trying right? to have what a lawsuit. Yeah. All right, we're gonna end the podcast yeah. there, guys. I can hate these guys now. Never meet your heroes. <laughs> like, no, nah, Will, too, like, if he, if he jumped in my, like, arms, I'd yeah. be like, nah, bro, you got to hit the ground. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, that's, like, so he came and did that, and, like, it was another one. He tried to kiss me on the cheek. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, And yeah. I was like, bro. man, move for the <laughs> What Will Smith did, he slapped somebody who yeah. tried to kiss oh. me. Like, that was me. I'll put this back up. Like, you know what I'm saying? But, like, you know, they do, they do a lot of, like, wild stuff to all of us, really. You know what I'm oh, saying? Oh, my like, God. Uh, but th those were just among the... Those are standouts. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, people can be a little bit, people can be crazy out there. Yeah, a little too familiar. No. Habitual yeah. line steppers. I would never do that no matter who it was. Like, <laughs> mm. J. Cole, I'm, I met J. Cole, and that's my that, you know, one of my biggest inspirations. Yeah. Man, I wish I would have ran up and jumped in. <laughs> <laughs> like, Dude, oh my God. Speaking of, I, I, I did want to get into that. So you guys, you guys have now obviously seen so much success. 5.5 .5 million YouTube subscribers. That doesn't even count. I feel like so many more people even can view your videos on Twitter or you, uh, yeah. Instagram or wherever, fa even Facebook, everywhere. Just uh, you know, with how viral they go. Um, how were you nervous meeting J Cole? Do, were you nervous? Do you, do you get nervous meeting these like true, like mind blowing level of celebrities? Because I was scared as shit when I met Ariana Grande. Yeah. I, 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 when he uh, 
So me and only me and Ben got to meet LeBron, unfortunately. Yeah. Like because we're such a big group, it, they be always trying to like split us up. Like, of course, especially when you're meeting like a star like LeBron. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I want to say real fast because I know people are gonna be like, Mark is talking too much. Y'all can. Bro, yeah, no, no, you got no, it. You got. I'm telling you. The thing is, the it. thing is, they don't. It's not like they look at me to be like, oh, like are you gonna talk or we gonna talk? They don't talk. Like people don't understand. We talk a lot on Twitch because we're playing a game. We're yeah. doing something. Yeah. That like Dylan don't talk that much normally. You know what I'm saying? And Ben, he's just a go with the flow guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I was like, <laughs> right, though. That's yeah, a fact, right. That's a fact. Like, it's that's a, a fact. why you think he's why you think he's uh what's what's your name in um, Assassin's Creed? SEO. The oh, reason why oh, oh. I cast Dylan as the oh, quad. Oh, oh no! Look, he doing oh, stuff. Oh god! No, Dylan. 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 I'll ask Dylan. you. I'll Dylan. ask you more questions, oh. man. Yeah, we'll, we'll take another. Dylan, 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 on the first episode. Yeah, yeah that's true. Oh, I, I don't want that role. <laughs> no, we, we, we've we've definitely spilled our fish. I'll show you go with the flow. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're good. I think we're good, actually. Uh, uh, maybe. Yeah, yeah we're, good. Good. we're good. We're good. We're good. good. My fault. I'm sorry. No, we're good. Isaiah's getting more talent. Okay, great. Um, wow. So if you're oh. listening to the podcast, in, in a fit of rage, <laughs> Dylan just <laughs> took his water and threw oh, wait, it. Oh, this is yeah. law? No, 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 no. Oh. We do, we do a video. We th this will go up on our YouTube yeah, channel, but yeah. then we also do audio versions on. We're Apple. gonna cut it to make Wick look way worse. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we should do like eight, ADR of him being like, "Fuck all you guys." <laughs> make <laughs> dramatic make music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I, I honestly think like we're we're probably good. We maybe yeah, just yeah. use one. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's a little bit right, right here. So, oh, yeah, it's a little flashback. We're, we're gonna keep we're gonna keep talking and doing the podcast while this go. goes. Go ahead, Will. What were you flashback. Saying? You were talking about meeting LeBron. Oh, okay, cool. So like I was no, I was saying like Dylan like. When I was casting him as Ezio and stuff, that's because he would not talk in the videos. Like, I, I would give Dylan oh, yeah. a role and he would be like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dylan, come on, bro. Like, say, say the lines if you want to say it. Like, we need something. Yeah. Like, yeah. like, he act like SpongeBob. <laughs> 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 that laugh impression. He was spot on. He did it right after that. Dude, what the hell? He just he pulled out. Like SpongeBob every time I give him, try to give him lines. Like, you so, know. In, in, in uh, one of our videos, Video Game House, like, we kept redoing it. I'm still laughing in the one that got. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. still laughing. I'm, no, it's like a smile, though. Yeah, he was, yeah. Like, he, yeah. he was like this, because he walked out with. Um, I was, he, he walked well, out with, with Link. Yeah. Yeah. And he, well, SEO, yeah, SEO walked out, he was like. I was like, okay. oh, so what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> so, like, no, nah, but no, nah, I'm giving him quiet oh. characters because he's good at playing. Like, um, he since he joined in last, like, we had already made. made well, he joined in second to last because mm. John is another one, but. We had, we had already made like so many videos to where like bro acting's not easy. Oh no. You feel bro, me? Bro. Like they think like doing all these roles, like, okay, like be LeBron. They be like, oh, let uh blank be this person to get a lot of lines. The reason why I get a lot of lines, cause like, bro, I, I know how to act really well. Yeah. And everybody else does too, but like you gotta see how many how many takes does it take? Like, can somebody say it perfectly through like that? Yep. Consistently. Thanks. But they just be like, oh no, it's easy. Give everybody 66 lines where they say it without messing up. That's not the case. That had you. That's the match what you want to say. Like if Dylan get like twenty lines, we might be there for a minute. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Because like okay. no no cap, but like Dylan's a great actor. But yeah. we just might be there for a minute. Mm. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So like at that time back in the day when it was way harder for people to act, like you can't give somebody that many lines. You feel me? You gotta be yeah. like, all right, let's let's itch a man. It's like anybody joined RDC right now, they would not have no lines for a minute. Cause yeah. like. You that means that because people don't look at us, they don't give us a chance no more. Like they watch the video and they expect it to be funny. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You back in the day it was like, oh yeah, let's just do this, it'll be funny. Like now it's like we better laugh. You know what mm. I'm saying? Like we get bullied out here. <laughs> just it better be funny. It better be the best thing ever too. Yeah. And it's like okay, you know what I'm saying? Here, here so we goes can't nothing. have no like, mess up. <laughs> Damn, that's uh, that's actually super interesting to hear your perspective. That like now it's just an expectation. Yeah. That you guys are funny yeah. and damn, I guess I set the bar pretty high by saying you guys are the funniest people on the <laughs> internet. No, Shit. We're, we're if someone new from yeah. the Courage and Eight Shot show goes and tunes into you guys. <laughs> well, I thought this was funny, but it certainly wasn't the funniest. <laughs> <laughs> Dislike. Yeah, I can no. name 10 channels that were yeah, funnier. Yeah. Oh, shit. And they were ready to say that, too. Yeah. Oh, oh, shit. Man. But we, 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 as we went, to, we went to talk about LeBron and J. Cole, because I, oh, yeah. I do want to bring those up. Um, being in a music video with J. Cole. Is that like the peak of your life? LeBron too. I feel like you know they're most. equal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's what the split of the LeBron story because Ben was with me, mm -hmm. and um, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I was like, 
well, I didn't know like the the people was like, yeah, we can't tell you that you're gonna meet LeBron. Like he's LeBron. He yeah. Gonna, he gonna do whatever he wants. Yeah. So like, people think we be planning stuff. No, like this is this literally happens as y'all see. Yep. Like when we met LeBron, I, I said, Ben, I said, Ben, look, record this. <laughs> yeah. I said, please don't mess up. That's exactly what I said. I, said, please, please, <laughs> I was so bro. nervous. I'm like, come on, let me get to get this. Can I mess this up? <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> Yeah. He's seen the desperation of us. Do not, not mess this up, bro. Like, I love Hold this man. Hold him with you. Like, Please, come on, make sure I get this. And, um, <laughs> so we seen him, and, like, uh, well, we was actually just standing there, and we kind of, no lie, like, all of us at RDC, we don't like to do no clout shit. Like, we don't, we ain't going to be like, hey, we RDC, let us in this bitch. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We, yeah. just, we just stand in the back. And if y'all, if somebody like notices us, bring us up, we'll be like, okay, cool. Like, yeah. But like, so we were just standing back there, and LeBron's friend said, he walked up, he said, oh, y'all, it's funny. Hey, come on, come meet LeBron. So we was like, mm-hmm. oh, shit. And I was like, man, now's the yeah, time. Yeah, I said, don't okay. mess up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. one check. He walked over there, and LeBron, that was his, that was his, like, that was his Dude. actual reaction. Yeah. He was, he decked up. He was so happy. Yeah. Like, he That's was great. so happy. People be like, bro, he was happier than you. That's what they was saying. Oh, bro, I mean, dude, you, you got to think from their perspective, it's like, you guys, what your guys' videos are, it's like you're just making so, so much of your content is like you're making what everyone's thinking, right? Like, like it's so relatable to everybody that you know LeBron of all people is like that's what he wants to say <laughs> yeah. when, when they're forming the super team, and yeah. you're like, I ain't Thanos. <laughs> like, that's just, like that's like what he's thinking. Yeah. So he lo- you, you you know he loves that yeah. shit. For sure, bro. for sure. Like it, it was amazing. Like I feel like he probably would have. Like, he probably can't say it on other videos, and I feel like that video was just so. Like, it wasn't making fun of anybody yep. particularly, and it was just like, the joke was just him. Yep. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So I feel like that's why he responded to that particular video. 100%. But, um, no, it was amazing, though. And, like, I, and then, like, I met LeBron, and I was like, oh, and this is my dog, Ben. Like, niggas, I never leave nobody out, bro. Yeah. Like, I yeah. always be like, okay. I, every time, if I meet somebody, I'd be like, nah, well, this is my, this is, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, this Ben, this, this Dylan, this Leland. Of course. You know what I'm saying? And J. Cole, he didn't even have to say that. Like, ben, well, LeBron and AD both, like, showed being hella love. Yeah. AD, yeah. Too, yeah. He was like, you play me and stuff like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But J. Cole, he was like, What's up, Martin? And he was like, "What's up?" You know, like he said, "What's up to everybody?" Showed all of us love. Yeah, it was, so it was very yeah, genuine. genuine. Yeah, okay. very genuine. These these people. Yeah, every celebrity not like that, obviously. Yeah, you know for sure. Saying? I mean, it, that's that, that's so cool to hear that that it went so well. Um, I remember. I, I got to see I speaking of J Cole, I got to see J Cole live in Orlando, and that shit was incredible. A few On this last ago. tour. Uh, it was in 2017, so I don't know if it was his last. I don't think oh, that it was. was, y'all was that, that was in Orlando. No, no, I'm sorry, that tour. That tour, he walked out. It, y'all went to it. I didn't go. There. He, he walked out in like a prison suit. And yeah, 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 that's the one y'all see. That's the one y'all see. Dude, dude. Yeah. no, for your eyes only. Tour. That, that was yeah, yeah, dude. That yeah, shit was yeah. lob as Yeah, that hell. was lob. So good, we man. Uh, man, that was so you didn't good. Go this year? No, I didn't. I didn't get a chance to go. I, I do want to go again. I mean, he was incredible live. I was. I had a few vodka sodas. I was lit. In the <laughs> you, know, you know. You don't listen to J Cole. I do. Oh, okay. I used you, to live in North Carolina. Like you, you, I used to go to school in North Carolina. Oh, so. oh, oh okay, nice. really? Oh, oh that's God! Everybody. So listens basically, to J. Cole. <laughs> he knew about J Cole. Before. Yeah, <laughs> I was on J Cole way before. <laughs> We just called him Jay back then. Yeah. <laughs> Drop the coal. <laughs> Noah, uh, um, I have a question. Do it. So, I mean, of course, it's it, it, it's mind blowing when you make these sketches and you make these videos and, and celebrities react so positively to them. Have you ever had a reaction on the opposite end of the spectrum? A celebrity reacting super negatively to something you made? You know, uh. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't, if you don't want to name names, yeah, yeah, I don't know what you're saying. saying. Yeah, you don't have to give names. But think carefully. <laughs> <laughs> this goes to the world. We're not. Look, whatever you say, if you mess up, I'm no cutting out. I don't think, I don't think it's that bad. Okay, so we did a, a LeBron when it was. Uh, I forgot what game it was. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I said, oh, I know what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, okay, so yeah, so uh, somebody played Danny Green. He it was at. It's like he got like one point or something. Oh, yeah. He, right, he was right, in for right. a long time. And yeah. so like we, he knew Danny. Well, they they were talking to Danny before, and like they were cool. But then after that video came out, he unfollowed Jay, oh, and man. it was like nothing. But so we were like, bro, come on, it's just a video. Yeah. But we understand though, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but, we do understand because he was getting a lot of hate. Yeah, he really that, was, was, that was a bad yeah. game. But so I feel like, the world was doing like like and people like I feel like maybe he thought maybe we amplified the hate. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But like you gotta understand, we wasn't do- like we doing it for everybody. If it yeah. wasn't you, we would have did it. Whoever you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like so like. 
I don't know. Sometimes I be feeling conflicted about LeBron videos when I be like, ah, oh, they getting so much hate. Mm. Like, hold on, let's not drop this one. Or something yeah. like that. Like, yeah, I'll be, yeah. I'll take it easy. Like, right. Yeah, like, not for sure. Yeah. Like, well, I, I met with, uh, I, I went and watched a Yankee game with some of the guys from John Boy Media who make like baseball breakdowns, and now their breakdowns have become so big where if they, you know, they're like these players watch our videos mm -hmm. and they have relationships with these players. They have them on their podcasts, and they had that's, I, I, it, it seemed like they had that same conflicting thought of like. Oh God! Like, yeah, is this person? Yeah. They might watch it. You yeah. know, I don't want them to hate me for it. But yeah. it, nine times out of ten, the people are 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 good energy about it. I mean, well, you that's guys. Him. That's tenth one. Yeah, <laughs> scary. Yeah, I guess Danny was 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 the number ten. He called me back though. Good. Yeah, he did. He, he, did. he, he, he I think he just had to calm down. Yeah. yeah. Um, he was seeing red for a bit there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Today's podcast is brought to you by Truly Hard Seltzer's Limited Edition Holiday Mix Pack. Listen. Picture this. You're at your family's holidays. Oh. Okay? No, no, no. No awe. Things are going poorly. Your mom's made a new appetizer that she saw in Home Living Magazine. It turns out bad. You got to eat a lot of them or she'll be heartbroken. I just wanted the broccoli casserole. Your grandpa's telling war stories. They're graphic. They're making you sad. Your uncle and your aunt are fighting. It's getting political. It feels oh, weird. Lord. Oh, no, no, no. That's too true. That's too, too, real. too real. Too real. Too true. Too true. Too real. Listen. Do you want to pat that down with some garbage eggnog? <laughs> no. I have a remedy. Enter truly limited edition holiday mix pack with four festive flavors inspired by your favorite holiday cocktails mm. like spiced apples, like spiced apple, like spiced apple. It's a, I've been drinking. No, like, no, we drink responsibly. What does yours right. taste like? Like spiked apple spice. Cran Orange Sparkler, mm. and Holiday Sangria Style Seltzer. Mm. Well, this was nice. This was light. Yeah. It's the perfect way to kick up your festivities. They only have 100 calories. There's only a single gram of sugar and 5% alcohol. The limited edition holiday mix pack has everything you love oh. about Truly. Mm. Now pause this podcast, head to the store, and get yours because when they're gone, they're gone. Wow. So good luck. And now let's get back to our regularly scheduled program. That's right. I, I have a question for movies for you guys. We have on our we have a, a great breakdown here, but uh, you guys love anime. We're going to get into that as well because Nate Shot unfortunately isn't here, and that yep. would be this is like his ultimate episode. Mm. This yep. would be like his favorite episode. You're lost, Damn. Nate Shot. Yeah, screw you. <laughs> <laughs> Bring us back. Um, <laughs> according to the RDC World homepage, I'm seeing here your favorite movie is The Dark Knight. Mine is yeah. Yeah. What's your guys? Uh, I don't know if I have a favorite movie. I just love the Marvel yeah. franchise okay. as a whole. That's fair. Yeah. Yeah, I'll say, I'll say the same too. Just the entire Mar yeah. Marvel Cinematic Universe. Okay. Yeah. Um, what's a better film, Inception or Interstellar? Oh, boy, Desmond would have been. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Interstellar! <laughs> I do it all the time, bro. I, uh, I, I watched Interstellar recently for like a year ago. Mm. I want to say in, in, uh, Inception just because. I don't know. I just feel like Leonardo. Was, yeah, Leonardo. Yeah, Leonardo. He's like mm. one of my favorite actors. Mm. Yeah. So, but Interstellar was great though. It was really good. Like he kept my friend Desmond kept telling. He keep telling all yeah, of us, Preston, watch Interstellar, yeah. watch Interstellar all the time. And we're like, we're gonna watch it. It's like a three hour movie. It's though. crazy though, because all I do is watch movies and TV shows. Yeah. But I skipped Interstellar, and yeah. Desmond will not let it down. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you it every day. I you like haven't watched it. it. How? I know. That's what I It's the same director as The Dark Knight. I know. I know. And I still, I still, I have Quit watched. uploading them damn skits and watch the fucking movie. What do y'all think? What y'all think is better? Wait, wait. Do, wait, wait. What you finna say? Uh, yeah, you're not sneaking under the radar. It's, it's I, ain't not, see, I ain't seen Interstellar either. No, 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 no. Not that. What are you talking about? What the fuck is your favorite movie? Said, I, said, I said Marvel type shit too. Because oh, I really okay. got a favorite movie. Oh, okay. What? I, I love The about? Dark Knight, though. I, I oh, actually Dark have a theory that The Dark Knight, like, changed filmmaking for a long period of time, mm -hmm. where, like, so many films were like, let's make The Dark Knight version of what we're doing. Like, let's make it gritty and dark. Mm -hmm. And yeah. that led to us getting, like, so many DC movies that didn't work. Yeah. 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 I feel like Dark Knight <clears throat> was the first... Uh, that's, why, that's why I like it so much. I really do feel like... I like things that create waves. Yeah. Um, even though I... 
Marvel movies the same. I feel like they're all top yeah. tier too. I just feel like the Dark Knight, like it came in and I had never seen a movie like that before. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like they really made you know, like the Joker win most of the movie. You know what I'm saying? And Batman was like he was like losing. Hannibal Lecter. He like always was one step ahead. Yes, yes, yeah. and that's what I'm saying. And I, I and I was like, that's cool. Like for real. You know what I'm saying? Like because he he could have won for real for always. Hit, <laughs> <laughs> Hit me. Yeah, it's crazy. That, that that movie was just so. And he played his performance. <clears throat> unreal. Mm -hmm. Unreal. No, he played your un unbelievable. Um, I, you know, when we were talking right before the show about how I've only ever watched two animes. One was season one of Promise Neverland, got told to never watch season two. I've watched 75 episodes of Hunter x Hunter. I'm currently on the Greed Island arc. Mm. If you hear that, hearing that, and knowing that I like Hunter x Hunter a lot, mm. what, in your guys' opinion, is like the next anime I need to watch or I should dive into? Because I'm, I'm like dipping my toe. Nate Shot is like so in, you know, thinking about getting the anime, anime tattoos, everything like that. Uh -huh. Yeah. What, what would you recommend to me? Jujutsu Kaisen. Jujutsu Kaisen or Demon Slayer. I think those Jujutsu are like pops right now. Sick. Yeah. Are they too? Are they long? No, no, no. I think Demon Slayer for me is not accessible to people outside of anime for one reason: that blonde dude. That blonde oh, is dude. Is it? Ah! I'm just like every scene, and I'm like, oh my god, you're yelling and being so horny. <laughs> so, dude, he's like, there's like horny. And then there's like no nut November horny, and then there's like <laughs> anime horny, which is like a whole nother level. Mm. You watching it dubbed? What? Well, yeah. Okay, yeah. I feel like uh, the sub. More this, he probably uh, is more Does he Japanese scream less stuff? in the sub? No, I, he screams just. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like it's more tolerable. It's less annoying though, definitely. Um, I feel like that was a very valid point you just made. Yeah. Because I, I also feel like Demon Slayer is a starter anime, but for people who don't know how anime is, like Zenitsu might be. They might be like, "What the fuck is up yeah. with this kid?" Mm. That was a very valid. He's point. a dope character too. He is. Like I love the whole that he blacks out and then he's nasty. Like yeah. that's cool. Mm -hmm. Shades of Rock Lee there. For sure. Yeah. 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 I I, no, I think it's a good one. Also, My you watch anime heavy. Oh yeah. Oh. I mean, I was one of those kids who watched Cowboy Bebop like when it first came out, and to me, I think that's the golden standard for all anime. I, I haven't been recommended that one. When oh. I tell y'all that back and forth. Now look, don't switch up either. Cause I told y'all Spike Speaker was one of the best main characters. Y'all said, Mark, top five though. Stop all that. Top five, top one. Mm, Spike Speaker. Top two. I don't know about one, you but watch top two. Yeah. Top five for sure. Um, yeah, no, Cowboy Bebop is like, the reason people don't recommend Cowboy Bebop as an anime is the same reason that I don't think the live adaptation of Cowboy Bebop will work is because when I think of anime, I don't think of Cowboy Bebop. It's like a show that's successful, not because it's an anime, but because it's an incredible show. It, it's the only anime on IMDb's top 100 shows of all time. Oh, really? Um, okay. yeah. Yeah, it deserves it. Yeah. Yeah. That man, uh, he's making a point. point. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, do you get hate for always backing up Cowboy Bebop or something? I've never no, seen it. Was one, we, it was just one episode of a, 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 like a series we got called Back and Forth where we talked anime. Yep. Yeah. Um, and we were doing top five. Anime uh, characters. Anime, anime main characters, yeah. And like what were your top five? We gotta hear it now. I, don't know I forgot who the top oh, five was. Yeah. <laughs> I know that it was Spike, a long debate. Yeah, it was a long debate, but Does I know Spike, Spike was in it. Uh, I don't know if he made it, but I know that everybody in the comments was like, Mark, you always think you're right. Spike is not part of it. I'd be like, first of all, I don't think I'm always right. Like, I just argue my point like everybody else. <laughs> yeah. they, they just get mad because all right, I'm gonna do I my top five. Voice. I'm gonna do my top, top five. Anime Spike Spiegel, Rock Lee, okay. Gene Starwind. From, from what? what? From um, Outlaw Star. I, I don't watch Outlaw Star. Vash the Stampede Vash. from Trigun. Yeah. And then a fifth. Ooh. I didn't know you he's knew this much. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's, yeah, he's in Why have we not? Oh, 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 D from Vampire Hunter or, or Vampire Slayer D. That's crazy. Okay. That you ever seen is, Vampire Slayer I've D? Seen I've, seen, I've seen a little oh, bit. Of it. I've seen so a little bit of it. beautiful, really? man. Oh my god, wait, wait, it's so before, sick. I, I I can't agree with that five, but I do think. <laughs> <that's> <laughs> <five>. <laughs> like I disavow the I'm five. I'm glad you said it, but uh, <laughs> let's move on. Um, I've seen some. Okay, okay. I've seen a, yeah. a, a good amount of Trigun. Back when I was young, though, because it used to always come on. Yeah, it did. It did. It was Trigun, Cowboy Bebop, and Yu Yasha. Yu Yu Hakusho. Neon Genesis, huh? Yu Yu Hakusho? Yeah, mm. yeah, for sure, Yu Yu Hakusho. But I, we act like that shit is like two. He was on our top five, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yusuke. Yeah. Which, which, that's why I said I can't agree too. Yusuke? Yusuke. He's Isaac. really. So I think that that show is so important because it developed the tournament arc, right? The black tournament or the dark tournament? Black the dark tournament. Dark tournament. Dark, dark tournament is literally cut and paste in every single show in it now. It definitely is. Um, it definitely is. It, yeah. I feel like they went. I feel like uh, Dragon Ball might have got Yu Yu Hakusho in the tournament though, because uh, Dragon Ball came out first and they did the tournament. Yeah, I, I, 
Yes. Wait, did Dragon Ball come out first? Yeah, 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 yeah definitely. Yeah, 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 definitely. Dragon Ball did the tournament too. I understand what you're saying. Though, yeah, because that like, tournament was different. But that, I, but that tournament is so good. Yeah, it was amazing. There's amazing. all those twists and like the one brother hiding in the tiles. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 that shit was wild. Yeah, but nah, I understand. <laughs> I'm laughing so hard know. because this is like Nade Shot's dream episode. <laughs> <laughs> we've done how many episodes have we done now? Seven like <laughs> Yeah, and, 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 and shot somewhere out there just <laughs> and like punch in the air. I, I I swear if I left here and you guys just had the desk, you guys could talk about it for hours yeah. and yeah. This, he, he would be yeah. like, This is the best day I've ever had in my life. And he's, <laughs> and he's legitimately not here for this. I'm gonna text him after this and be like, You fucked up. Okay, you really fucked up. So I got a question. What is it about anime that appeals to you? And what do you think that people that don't give anime a chance are missing? And why do you think they they don't give it a chance? I think it's different things for different people. Yeah. Yeah, like I think action and like comedy is like my favorite parts of sure. anime. But some people might like like different types of like slice of life anime, like the romance anime is like they might only watch them. They don't really like yeah. take to action scenes and stuff. Mm. Yeah. But I feel like there's something for everybody in anime. Yeah, I feel like the story building is different in anime too versus like a live action show. I feel like, um, like especially like especially the, like the longer ones, I feel like um, just how they develop characters is like very unique to anime. Like I don't see that type of story building in a lot of other yeah. shows. So it's like even like shows like you know Avatar that are based on anime. Like those type of shows are just always people's like favorites. People love those type yeah. of shows because they really build those characters to be great characters. And I, mm. I feel that's another thing about anime that makes it so appealing. To yeah. me, yeah. Yeah, I struggle with watching like animated things versus like just straight up, you know, non animated. But um, Nate Chow was pushing me so hard to watch. And I'm someone that like I can only get into something when I'm ready to get into it. Mm. Like I knew I would probably like it, yes, and I had to give it a chance. But I remember so vividly the moment that I was like, this shit is fucking lit. It took 20 something episodes of Hunter x Hunter. But it was when Gon finally hits Hisoka in the mm -hmm. Heavens Arena, oh, yeah. and I was like, "That fight was." I I like played that moment back like five times, and I still like remember every point of it in my head from like when I watched it like eight months ago. Was like the music being bowed out, and it just like shows Gon like fucking sliding back, and then it goes to Hisoka, and he lifts his fucking head up, and yeah. he's got the one like. Scrape yeah, here, right, yeah. and then it cuts to gone, and it plays yeah. the season yeah. music, yeah. like that. That's that because that That's music wild. there is like holy <laughs> shit. I remember being like in bed. I was watching my iPad, and Maddie, my girlfriend, was reading her book, and I was like, "Holy fucking shit!" Yeah. <laughs> I was like, "I get it now. I get yeah. it now." So well, that, that that was that sold me on it. Sorry. It's yeah. interesting because I think anime is taking the same trend that like cape shit, like superhero stuff, and fantasy did right, where it's like. When The Dark Knight got made, people were like, oh, comic books are for kids. Mm -hmm. Aside from like a nerdy audience. Then Dark Knight comes out and everybody's like, oh, fuck yeah! yeah. <laughs> and then people are like, fantasy is for kids. Mm -hmm. And then Game of Thrones comes out and everybody's mm -hmm. like, oh, fuck yeah! yeah. But it's like, it's like it, it, I think it's interesting that we stigmatize these mediums, and especially drawing, right? In the United States, we think that cartoons are for kids. Yeah. But yeah. really, it's just another medium for artists to be able to express themselves. And one thing that's amazing is, you know, we have the Cowboy Bebop adaptation now. For years, everybody said that's an impossible adaptation. Why? Because it would cost way too much to do in live action. Something about the cartoon or drawing medium, it basically unfetters creators to be like, here's my imagination. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna have mm -hmm. a guy have spirit gum and he's a clown and he's gonna, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, and, yeah. and this kid yeah. uses a fishing pole as a weapon. Yeah, and if sure. you were to tell a live action director to do that, he'd be like, you want me to do what the fuck now? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's a good point. We need you on back and forth. <laughs> yeah. I'm there, I'm there. Are you Amazing kidding me? He, 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 he would, Will would love that shit. Yeah. <laughs> that I'll find out about it. I mean. I mean, that that that's Jesus. I didn't know you were this well versed. I'm sorry, <laughs> dude. I, I so I was actually. I remember I was like 10 years old when the first something like that when the first episode of Adult Swim happened, and I was at a sleepover and I got scared and I couldn't sleep, so I snuck down to my friend's like basement and I turned on the TV in Adult Swim and I watched the first episode of Cowboy Bebop mm. on the first episode of Adult Swim, okay. and I was just like, what the. Is it? <laughs> like I woke up my friend's mom. I was like, "Get up, woman! <laughs> <laughs> They're in space." <laughs> um, but no, it's. It, yeah. I, I literally felt that way 
like the first time I watch anime because it is it is so unfettered. It is yeah. so creative. It is so different. Um, and I feel like, especially in that old, part of the reason that a lot of my protagonists are from that old era of anime is because that old era of anime, like creators were doing whatever the, f I don't know if you've ever seen like Wicked City or like um, uh, Inspector Goku or like shit like that, but it was literally directors being like, you want to have full penetration sex in the anime? And they're like, yeah, why not? Let's throw some tentacles in there. It'll kill this fucking guy. And they, like, they were just experimenting. And it's yeah, like such sure. a weird time. And then you get to this like renaissance right after like Akira, mm -hmm. where they make something like Akira, which is like one of the most expensive, unreal collaborations ever. Yeah. And it is like this immortal piece of artwork. So it's it's just such a cool, Tetsuo might be in my top five, actually. Yeah, no, for sure. And it, it I, and. Speaking about uh, uh, care, I call it care. I don't know why. I always say everything wrong in Japan. You know what I'm saying? I, I but, try uh, and say it right. Most of the time, I'm just saying it wrong, but I commit to it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like Bleach, right? Uh, yeah. Like, uh, yeah. Like, cause, no, uh, no, yeah. In Bleach, like, just just quick segue. Uh, in Bleach, like, uh, this is character. His name is... Lucura. Okay, that's how that's nailed a, it. That's, <laughs> that's 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 how he says it. And I and I remember I already said you was right. right I said right. you was right. But, but I call, I call him Udakira, right? And then we was like three or four years. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We you was say arguing. tomato. <laughs> <laughs> but we had watched the episode. We said let's see how he said it. And Man. and on that one thing. <laughs> He did say, he said, Udakira. And Dylan was mad as hell. But I know I'm he's hot. right, though. I know he's right. I know it's said again. Uh, Lukiota. Yeah, I just, I, I can't say it like that. I just don't <laughs> yeah. say it like yeah. that. But like, we, I look for like, because I was wrong in the house for like a week until I found another scene where he said it like that. <laughs> yeah, going through the table. Sorry. You're running it back. I'm going to find and it. They're not going to let it go. <laughs> I'm definitely not. <laughs> the whole board connecting things yeah. to things. <laughs> um, you know, with your guys' love for this, have you guys ever been to Japan? You guys ever know where to go? Uh, I went to South Korea. Actually, I went to South Korea to watch y'all. A hundred Thieves League of Legends team. Oh, yeah. Um, I did a um I did a um, <laughs> How the fuck? Full circle. Full, Full circle. circle. <laughs> I got, I, nah, I got um I got um like brought out there by House of Highlights to do the the uh, advertisement for y'all team. And uh that's how I, I met like I met the whole League of Legends team. I watched them I watched them win against uh people out there in South Korea. That's uh, awesome. And I was in a I was in a tournament. I didn't even know League of Legends was this big. Yeah. That oh tournament had God. like 40, 50,000 people in it. Bro, it was crazy. That Especially was, in South Korea, man. man. Oh my God. Bro. I said Women are rushing yeah. the stands yeah, yeah. to touch the oh, no. <laughs> Dude, it's it's insane. It's like big. I didn't know I didn't know them the the team that came out and I was screaming. Oh. I looked at everybody else girls, like, oh, ah! <laughs> it was wild. Like it Bro, was just experience. That's so look. cool. Yeah, no, it's it, it's it's huge, man. League of Legends is the biggest esport in the world. Um I think pretty much by far uh, in yeah. regards to viewership and and everything. No, you guys would absolutely love Japan. I think everyone out there wants to see RDC World yeah. takes Japan. We want to do that. We, we want to see that. We, we want to see that. Yeah. We want to take it. I mean, I know, I know obviously COVID, everything, travel restrictions exactly. there are yeah. still really tight, but uh, I, I, you guys got to go there as soon, yeah. as, soon as it We're opens trying. back up. We, we went, I went uh, October of 2019. Um, with a few friends and, and my girlfriend, and it was just unbelievable. Mm. But you guys are a group of you know seven. Mm -hmm. It's 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 not it's not a, a place that you can get around with easily with seven people because oh, really? it's every, all the places are small. So it's like mm. we my my girlfriend and I would go in, and then like our other group of three friends would go in, and we'd like have to sit separately because like yeah. it's uh. max of four people in a group in a lot of places, uh, and it's uh. like. She's so part of AK. You you might need to, you guys might need to trim the fat on the group. Well, so. <laughs> yeah. um, we 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 went to Tokyo, <laughs> we went to Kyoto, uh -huh. and then we went to Osaka. And okay. uh, we didn't do uh, what's the what's the an is it like Akihabara? So, I forget what it is. The District? is that the anime? That's like yeah. That's like the the mecca there. Yeah. Mm. Um, I we didn't get to go when we went. Personally, I at that point hadn't watched anything anime. Mm -hmm. um, but like I know Pokey and Ray and that whole group when they went, they spent like three days there and it was like mm -hmm. the time of their life. Um, so it's 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 like adult Disneyland. Um, yeah, uh, for an, people that love anime. Uh, but you guys mentioned earlier Xbox Live gaming. I know you, you you mentioned streaming on Twitch. Who's the best in the group at games? Me. Oh, it wow. depends on what games. <laughs> I don't know. This is gonna be hotly <laughs> contested. <laughs> He's the yeah. quiet one, and he immediately yeah. was like, "It's me." Yeah. I thought he the best at fighting games. No, 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 no. Leland. Wait, Leland the best at fighting games. 
Leo's the best at fighting games, mm -hmm. and then Dylan, Dylan is the best at Call of Duty. I don't know about the other shooting games, but mm -hmm. what, okay, what, what shooting game are you talking about? Because Halo, I'm the best. I'm the best at Halo. Mm -hmm. No, we can run it. Wow. <laughs> Infinite oh, did just come out. Wow. <laughs> you're not even top three in Halo. I mean, you, I mean, you were third. Ready? You were third in Halo. Ready? Ready? <laughs> yeah, it's me and Desmond first. Are you serious? Desmond just That's why we played Caleb. Desmond played. <laughs> Y'all play Caleb, y'all was, was the one talking shit. I feel like I could have done better. I feel like Will and I could just leave the room. This yeah, one of y'all, one of y'all, one of y'all playing. Ah, we got eight Halo right now. Right now. We I know, we, all right. You, we bro, you said I played in me Halo. You I said that about Gears of War. I killed you in Gears of War. You said oh, yeah, you yeah, didn't yeah, really yeah. play Gears of War. We're going back now. No, 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 you did. You didn't kill me in that, but that was one of Gears of War, I... You did you just you just smash me Gears of War. Pause. Yeah, this is the bully. No, I was you got Call of Duty. Tired. All right, let's Halo and everything. But you got Call of Duty at the uh, time. Fortnite, at the time when Gears of War was good, yeah. I had Gears of War. You yeah. got Fortnite, and oh, I'm gonna have Halo. But Halo no, is in there. I guess we'll leave. Right. Wow. We, we gonna stream I feel like you're definitely the best overall. Like all, game, all, all games. All, all games. I feel like I feel like I'm the most versed overall. But like shooting games, he got it. Leland got fighting games. But like I'm always right there. Yeah. I'm, I uh, definitely yeah, have to. Yeah, yeah. Let's not argue that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Madden, like, any, yeah, any, any like, right. any, any, all that good. Jesus. <laughs> that's the best at FIFA. Uh, I mean, I, oh, yeah. I know. Do y'all play FIFA? Oh, yeah. So I, FIFA, uh, really. my ultimate team is stat. <laughs> my ultimate team you, is you spent, I'm you not going to lie. I spent, you spent money. your mortgage on that. I, spent <laughs> my, I feel like an addict. I get in there, I open one pack. I'm like, all right, I didn't get anything. I'll just do a few more. And then I'm like, $100 later. I'm like, come on! <laughs> I see, dude. And they, 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 they are so smart. They have like fire on the side of the stage now. Yeah. And depending on how much fire there is, that's how good the player is. That's and lot. when that that's motherfucker cool. lights up, you're just like, no! Luke, <laughs> it's, it's, it's pure serotonin release. Yeah. <laughs> they know, they got that they shit down to a science. No, so. nah, look, we gamers at heart, though. Mm -hmm. We yeah. are. But yeah. like we don't play games as much as we used to back in the day. You mm. know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. cause we we got more stuff to do now. Cause I know Twitch gonna be like, "Bro, y'all be sorry at every game." We just don't have time to play as much as everybody anymore. Mm. My theory is this: on Twitch, everyone's sorry compared to someone else. Nice. There's For like sure. four nice. people that can be like, "I'm yeah, You're I'm best. good at this." Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah that's that's true. true. That is true. You're one of them. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> not even remotely close. <laughs> See that. Scares me when this motherfucker no, is like, no, no, I'm no, not no, good no. anymore. Dude, I, I will never forget the time that I first faced like a true Fortnite like pro crack cracked out player and I was yeah. like holy shit. Did you call him a crackhead? Yeah, they're crack, no, the, crack, I call him crackhead. Crack. No, because no, he said he said a Fortnite crackhead. Oh, he's cracked out. <laughs> no, no. The 15 year olds that are good at Fortnite that we have on our team, yeah. they're they're basically crackheads. <laughs> no, I was gonna play Halo. I was gonna play Halo with Myth till he tweeted a video of him just like killing 16 people in a row, and I'm like, no. I got a double kill one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they I just good. beat the beginner bots. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, no. Those bots, they fear me. <laughs> Dude, like Shroud, like I don't even, oh my oh, god, you can't tell Shroud me I'm crazy. good at games when Shroud, like I'm good at games, yeah, but like. You can't say I'm one of the four people in Shroud. <coughs> yeah. Shroud would clap my cheeks Dude, every I, day of the goddamn I, I killed week. Shroud in Rust one time, and I lived in fear. Perpetual fear <laughs> for the rest. Because I, I was like, I know I got one over on him, and it was a mistake. <laughs> it was a mistake. You know he could hunt your shit at any time. Yeah, I was like, please forgive me. <laughs> yeah. and, you're just, and you're just absolutely done for. Yeah. Um, you, you mentioned that now you guys are, are you know so much going on. You don't really have the time. What is what is your guys' day to day like? Like, if you're like, we here's a skit we want to make, like the LeBron video, or any of them. Uh, maybe maybe the one where he's finding out that everyone's joining the Nets. Like, what what does that <laughs> what does that what does that workflow look like? Like for you guys, well, LeBron in general, like those are all like those are on the fly. Like mm -hmm. it's like um, most of the time, like the game will be played, and then I'll I'll decide if we should actually make a video. It's because mm -hmm. like how many how many like things is it can happen. That we haven't done already. I don't really right. like to do the same things we've done. Yeah. Right. So like, if if it's like if the game is real wild, I'll do it. If it's not, I'll let it go. Even no matter how many people are asking us for it, like you know what I'm saying. So yeah. If, like we'd be like, oh yeah, like how you feel about this one? And I I'll be like, I don't know, man. Yeah. I think well, let's just leave this one alone. Yeah. Like then uh, what's the, one, the next one? I almost didn't do that. Yeah. One. No. Yeah. No. We just because we was busy, not because yeah. I think nothing oh, was going yeah, on. Yeah. What was we doing? Well, I forgot what we were doing, but we dropped everything to go to the. We had to go to the. Uh, Planning Flint or LA Flint? Uh, oh, yeah, no, we, no, couldn't, no, we, we couldn't, couldn't find a gym. It was Lifetime, Lifetime. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. You said what? We couldn't even find a gym. We was looking for a gym. Was it like, that one? 
The, I thought that was the other one. The um the, the, the next first, one? The one where uh thirty six? The thirty six? Yeah, I thought oh, we were, no, yeah. so you, it was like three yeah, different gems. I, I don't know. I was yeah. asking. Yeah. Usually, yeah, usually when news comes out, like he'd be like, Bro, this, this this just happened. He'll be on his phone and he'll be like Bro, we gotta do a video on this. So, so whatever we're doing, a lot of times it's like something it big has like to that. Stop. Yeah, yeah, we're it's done. Like no matter if we're on a set, like we're stopping. Like yeah, yeah. I, like even if well, I, time is time is of the essence yeah, for those. Definitely, yeah. time is of the essence. And and um, yeah, that one we was definitely not about to do. We went and did it, and it actually turned out to be the biggest one. So yeah. Uh, but for the other skits, like we'll all just sit in the room. We'll decide if like uh, an idea comes up if it's good enough. Like. Well, what I think is so funny is looking at it, it's like you have the ones that are people request and it's like, all right, this one just makes sense, like a LeBron, that LeBron one. Yeah. But then you guys also have your other content where it's like, is there people really out there asking you to make the no. the, 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 the the Amber Alert ones <laughs> no, or the Instagram, the Instagram no. bot ones <laughs> or even the damn cell phone listening ones, like some of the more recent ones, yeah. like... I don't see people in your DMs going like, yo, you got to make a video about this. That just, <laughs> is that just you guys like one day being like, we should make a video about this because it's like everyone understands it or like how does that – how the fuck does that come to be? Because I, I don't even know how – how the hell do you stand the phones up in that one video? That's <laughs> crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long time to get that up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like spices, put them behind the phone. Dude, I <laughs> but like what is that – how does that even happen? How does that even come to be? Oh, well, they they say that's you because like I I make up the concepts for the videos. Yeah. Uh, because I have been doing them. Like, well, I w I wanted to be a movie director. I wanted to be a movie director. Okay. Yeah. I didn't want to act, but when we when we start making videos, it was only me and Ed. Somebody had to hold the camera. <laughs> he had, he held the camera, and I was acting. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So yeah. then we started like to go all the way back to the beginning. Question like, oh yeah, I was making videos by myself in college, mm -hmm. and then I made five videos in a row that had like a million views, like yep. more. One had one million. And then the next one had like three men. The next one had six men. And one, then the next one had five men. And that's when I was like, hey, y'all, like, look at this. But with y'all, I could do better. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So when they came in, it was like, you know, like, where are we going to go from here? And I was just like, I was like, bro, it don't matter. We're going to go to the top. We're going to yeah. We're going to become what we become. And I, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, like, it, we're very transparent with each other. I'm very transparent. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. I, I'm going to like be like, okay, like if somebody has to take a back seat right here, like they understand. And nobody, we never, we none of us ever have hard feelings. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. Like for real, for real. Like I know people say that, and people be like, oh yeah, no, nah, that's not how they look. Like no, yeah. we for real don't have mm -hmm. like that's how we're able to do it. It's key. For a can long can time. I ask more of a meta question? In that you've mentioned a few times, even when you were just starting, like even in the anime days or the manga days, you were so confident. And what you're yeah. doing. How important do you think it is to have that confidence just to be a successful person? Man, I think that's the most important thing you can have because when there was zero views and all that, I just had a big dream. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Now, like everybody has dreams, but I think that uh, a very few act on it to the largest extent. Right. And that's what you got to do. Like I had to like literally not even think about losing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I feel like right now, nowadays, I feel like it's way harder for everybody. Anybody who's trying to do something right now, you got to understand that your mind has to be stronger than than everybody's pretty much because, bro, today is a lot of people hating on people for no reason. Mm. And you got to see that hate. You know what I'm saying? They'll go comment on your Instagram. They'll go comment on your Twitter. This, this, this. You have to literally be able to put that to the side and be like, that don't mean nothing to me. That's them projecting on themselves. Yeah. What they like, cause that's what people do. They project on you. They hate on you. They're projecting what something inside of them that they don't like. Mm. They like, oh yeah, you think you're gonna be funny? Like you think you're funny? Like no, you just wanted to do that. Like you know what I'm saying? Maybe yeah. like that's something they're projecting. And I I just want to tell everybody who's trying to make videos out there like it's very possible. It's just the fact that. You really gotta be resilient. You gotta not stop. Yeah. You gotta, you know what I'm saying? Yep. Uh, cause I was, I was confident so much more. I was more confident back then because, yeah. like, I didn't care about nothing nobody had to say. It was just like, oh, you think this is gonna be funny? This is not that funny to me. I said, good job. Yeah. I'm putting it out. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And then people would love it. And then I had my team, bro. They, they're, they're confident in themselves and they're confident in me too. Like, how I couldn't, God couldn't have gave me a better. Group yeah, of people. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Yeah, no. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. You guys want to work harder, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Wait, For follow real. up question to that. Follow up question to that. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You mentioned you're a director. What? Is that, is that I can use the restroom real quick? Oh, yeah, I'm yeah. So sorry. Are I'm you so serious? So, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I know. I, I, I was holding it for like 30 minutes. No, go, 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 go. I'm so sorry. Go, go, go. Yeah. I mean, can we pause? The hell? First, he trashes no, the we set. Keep going. <laughs> we keep going. Go, keep going. Screw him. We don't need you. What were you going to ask? 
Oh, yeah. Well. Wait, are we pausing or going? No, we're going to keep going. So my question is, talking about wanting to direct, we've talked about your manga, obviously the sketches, the video games, everything. What is a dream project for you guys? Limitless budget, limitless resources. What are you making? A, a show called Cable. A show called Cable. Yeah, I already wrote it, but like it's um, it like it's all of us as a cast. Yeah, yeah. And um, I I really don't want to share. The, don't uh, think to it. Don't, <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, I, can, I can't nope. share. I can't share the story because I don't want nobody to take it. But that's but it's, that's, that's the goal. The one. It's called Cable, and I pitched it, and um, I pitched it to a lot of places, and they. Uh, yeah. It was too. Yeah, they thought it was too. Too. They much. thought it was too much. Yeah. Mm. And once yeah. once somebody says too much, you're on the right path. Right. Yeah. You know most successful saying? projects, most yeah. people get exactly. nervous about it first. Yeah, right. Exactly. That's that, the it wasn't one. Safe. That's the one I want to make. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's the one I want to make. One day, I believe. For sure. For I believe. Sure. I think it'll happen. I mean. Again, you look at like the, there's this YouTube group, the Vanos crew, and they have the, a few of their members just made a show called Alpha Betas, and uh, it's this whole animated um, show where the four of them are voice actors, and it's and it's awesome. They they did their pilot, and they went and pitched it, and a lot of these sh places were giving them either similar things to that, or would be like, yeah, we'll do it for this, but you know, we need cr this certain creative control and yada yada, and they're like. No, we need we need to do it ourselves like this way, and uh, they then did like through a uh, through like a Kickstarter. Mm. Their community backed them up, and now they've got like the funding to do yeah, their probably. shows the way that they want to do yeah. it. That's crazy. So yeah. maybe that's maybe that's a route one day. Who knows? Who knows? Oh, that might be a route. So, wow. Something something to consider. Yeah, um, I want to shout out Issa Rae them on this on this podcast because they gave us the, the the chance to make it to HBO. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Um, if you don't know who Issa Rae is, is, she makes the show Insecure, and she's an amazing woman. Brand new season teams. coming out yeah. now. Yeah yeah, 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 it's out. It's out already. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, they're amazing. But they actually gave us, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, well, I, I wrote two HBO shows, and they were like, oh, we, we believe in them. Yeah. And then, you know, uh, HBO actually picked them up, you know? But, like, uh, we got we to gotta make the pilot for both of them. One's yep. an anime, and one's live action. Wow. So that, remember when you asked the anime question, that's why I was like, oh, yeah. Like, coming soon. Coming yeah. soon, yeah. Damn. That's crazy. You guys are always so you're, you're busy with that. What what else? So now, like right now, as we wrap up the wrap up the episode, what's what's the future and the short term look like for RDC World in these next couple of years? Keep doing what you guys are doing. Is there anything you guys are working on right now that you're really excited about? New merch. Anything yeah. you want to plug? Anything you want to plug? <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean we have we have a merch. We have we have new merch always coming out. Yep. Um, RDCWorld1.com. Uh, we have DreamCon too. We have a convention every year. Right. Uh, it's like, it's anime, it's gaming, it's pop culture, it's music, it's it's pretty much everything. Yeah. Um, and we try to make it for everybody, like people like us, pretty much. So yeah. like, yep. we went to a lot of conventions, and it, it just wasn't. It was cool. They're they're cool, but it's like there's a lot of things that we like that they didn't they weren't representing. Yeah. So we made something that can represent things that we like and things that our fans like. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, we have a lot of people that like the same things we do. And, yeah. Uh, it's in Arlington. It's going to be next year in June. This last year, we had it in July. It was amazing. We had the e uh, there's an eSports uh, arena. It's like the biggest e uh, Arlington eSports arena. Yep. But yeah, um, there's that. That's another big thing we have coming up. What? You got something to plug? Oh, uh... No, nah, the drink house is a valid plug. That was a lot. I can't I, 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 I would not have I forgot. Yeah. <laughs> well, listen, I can say with full confidence that this is the funniest episode of the Courage and Age. This show. episode is oh, tremendous. Yeah. Episode. yeah. No, this was fucking Y'all's energy is so good. Yeah. yeah. Appreciate tremendous it. energy. You guys are going to keep going, and as long as you keep uh, Dylan's temper in check when he threw that <laughs> <Yeah>. water... <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah, well, it is, but we'll, be, loose. we'll be all right. I mean, he, he that, Jesus Christ. Maybe give him a few more words in the video. Yeah. So don't do that. Uh, Mark, Ben, Dylan, thank you guys so much for coming on the show. If somehow you guys don't follow RDC World, I'm telling you right now, you have already seen their videos. Uh, it's been on your timeline. Figure it out. <laughs> so, their links will be in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. Appreciate it. You guys were fantastic. We'll see you guys in the next one. All right? All right. Peace. Peace.